why you might be looking for work to prom season this year. And even though I made this dress for last non-existent season, I couldn't resist making another one for this season. This is a practically ordinary dress, but I was inspired by historical fashion by individual elements. The dress consists of two pieces, a skirt and a bodice. To sew a dress, I needed 2 meters of takata and 2 meters of chiffon and tools of different colors. I chose cream and pink shades to complement the creamy shades of taffeta beautifully. The skirt is inspired by an Edwardian skirt consisting of several parts. I used the battery pattern B5970. Since I wanted the dress to be very feminine and very decorated, I divide the skirt part in two parts, the bottom chiffon part and the top taffeta part, covering the transition with braids, pearls and sequins. I divided each piece roughly at the knees and shaped the button line into an arc, so that the transition between the fabric was not straight but more blended. First, I cut the upper pieces out of the taffeta and then I laid all the layers of tool and chiffons on top of each other and cut out all the lower parts of the skirt. By the way, it is quite difficult to cut these kinds of fabric, so I always prefer to weigh them down. After cutting out all the parts, I first sewed together all the taffeta parts and then I sewed together all the lower parts layer by layer. Definitely don't stitch all the layers together into the one seam, it doesn't look good. In order to work well with the bottom layers of the chiffon and tool, I basted all the layers together on the top, where this part will be connected to the taffeta part of the skirt. Then I basted the upper and lower section of the skirt together and I save it together with a simple straight stitch. You don't need to take care if the seam will be visible or not, because it will be covered by application and the braids. I picked out the silver ones and I completed them with the pearls and sequins. I gradually sewed them on the entire circumference of the skirt, so the transition between the pieces looked sort of natural. Then I finished the skirt by sewing the waistband in place and then I made a fastening and it was done. I used this pattern for the bodice. It's a pattern in an ordinary wedding dress, however, I really like the shape of the bodice and it was similar to shape of the bodice I wanted to get close to. I cut all the pieces out of the taffeta and then of the white cotton, which I use as a lining. I sew all the pieces together and then in contrast to pattern instruction, I sew cotton tunnels for the bones on the lining, so that the bodice held its shape beautifully. Then came the decorative face again, which I was very looking forward to. I have always liked the dresses of 18th century Habsburg noble women, which are decorated with lace and various application on the front. I did not use a lace, but only silver application, beads and sequins. Maria Teresa's wedding dress from Maria Teresa's miniseries was also a big inspiration. I always form a small flower with a pearl, then I shave on pink beads of different color shades and I finally added some sequins, let the dress glitter a little. At the same time, I shaved the sequins around the application so the transition would be more subtle. A few seconds next to the application will do miracles. I decorated the top and bottom hand with piping and before sewing the piping to the lining, I add sleeves to the seam allowances which I recreated with multiply layers of the chiffon and tools. Afterwards, I based the gathered strip of tool to the seam allowance to decorate the neckline and I finally saved the lining to the piping. I opted for the classic hooks and eyes on the sides of the bodice. And this is what the finished dress looks like. I was very surprised myself that it feels very delicate, feminine, I would say a furry impression. So what do you like too? Dear friends, that's all for today. At first, I 
thought about making a tutorial but finally I decided to just show you the process of sewing the dress. However, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you would like to see more of my videos and receive a notification then you can subscribe my channel. And of course, like or comments always makes me very happy. Have a great day and see you soon for next video.